Hello friends and welcome back. In this series, I will be cooking dishes from Stardew Valley in real life for you guys, showing you how to do the recipe, and then also trying it for you. And this week we did eggplant parmesan. Now, I've never really cooked with eggplant before, so this was a first time for me. Uh, the eggplant I got was massive and I had to drive to four different grocery stores to find it. And I definitely did not need one this big, nor did I need a second smaller one. Honestly, the smaller one I bought would have sufficed. So if you're planning to make this recipe, you do not need a large eggplant. The recipe calls for two eggplants, but you really don't need a very large eggplant for the amount that I made, which was a pretty decent amount. This week we are sponsored by Babbel. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world. Its intuitive lessons help you learn a language through real life conversations. Lessons prepare you to have practical conversations about travel, business, relationships, and more. Babbel is scientifically proven to help you learn a new language in three weeks. All lessons are designed by real language teachers with a 20 day money back guarantee. I'm super excited to start using Babbel to really help brush up on my Spanish skills and also start learning more about Japanese so that when we go to Japan on our honeymoon, I can communicate with locals and actually kind of know what's going on and not just depend on there being English signs there. With just 15 minutes a day, you can start learning a new language. Sign up today with the link in the description and get up to 60% off your new subscription. This code is limited, so be sure to use it right away. And now, back to the video. So let's go ahead and get started with the other ingredients that you need. Of course, you will need two eggplants, but as I said, you probably just need one. Some salt, one cup all-purpose flour, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon pepper, two teaspoons garlic powder, a pinch of cayenne, three eggs, two tablespoons milk, two cups panko, so I had panko in my cupboard and I thought I would have enough. Unfortunately, I only had about one cup panko and I just kind of made do. You'll see what I do in the rest of the video, but you, you're probably gonna want at least two cups. One teaspoon oregano, one teaspoon basil, half a teaspoon thyme, and peanut oil. If you have a peanut allergy, you can absolutely swap this out with something else. This is for frying the battered eggplant. So use whatever oil you would prefer to use for deep frying. 24 ounces marinara sauce, fresh mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, and Parmesan cheese. First, you want to begin with chopping up your eggplants. This was not as easy as I thought it would be, but that's probably due in part to the fact that I had a massive eggplant. Either way, proceed with caution while slicing these up. They can be a, a little bit slippery. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Take your cut eggplant and put it in a strainer and cover it generously with salt. I would kind of layer in a few slices, put some salt on top, layer in a few more slices, put some salt on top. This is to help get the water out of the eggplant so it's not just for flavoring. Place a plate on top and add some weight. I use my mojete because it's super freaking heavy and so I put a plate on top and then I put the mojete on top of that. Let it sit for about 15 minutes and this will help remove some of the moisture from the eggplant. On a plate or a small dish, Combine the flour, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and cayenne. In a bowl, combine the egg and milk. On another plate, combine the panko, oregano, basil, and thyme. Take your slices of eggplant and dip it into the flour mixture. Cover it well in flour. And then dip it into the egg mixture. Place the floured pieces of eggplant in the egg mixture. Cover it completely. When you pull it out, make sure to let any excess liquid drip off the eggplant, and then place it into the panko mixture. In a pan, add about a half of an inch of peanut oil and let the oil heat up. It is ready when you add a small piece of panko to the oil and it sizzles, which is roughly 360 degrees. Add the breaded eggplant and fry for about two minutes per side or until golden brown. Make sure not to overcrowd the pan. Once you have deep fried all of your eggplant slices, Take a small baking dish and add a layer of marinara sauce. Place a layer of eggplant and then your cheeses and repeat this until your dish is full. Kind of just layer it up like you would lasagna. So I did a layer of marinara, then I did eggplant slices and cheese, eggplant slices, cheese, eggplant slices, cheese, marinara, and then as it baked, I kind of let the marinara soak down into all of the different layers of eggplant and cheese. Also, since this is eggplant parmesan, I figured the parmesan would go into the breading mixture 
but it did not say that in the instructions, so I just added it to my cheese layers. Though I feel like in the past when I've made chicken parmesan, the parmesan was part of the breading, so, you know, do whatever you desire. After you've made your layers of eggplant and cheese, cover and bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Uncover and set under a broiler for 5 to 10 minutes or until the cheese is bubbly. Now, I have a gas stove and baking it for 35 minutes was plenty. The top of the cheese was brown and crispy and it was definitely bubbling. I didn't have to broil it at all, so just keep an eye on it. It might be enough just to bake it for you. Let it rest for 10 minutes after cooking to allow for an easy serving. So, while your eggplant parmesan is cooling, let me tell you a little bit about this strange fruit. And yes, it is technically a fruit. And let me also tell you about eggplant parmesan in Stardew Valley. Eggplant is a species of the nightshade family Solensae. It is grown worldwide as it's an edible fruit. It is most commonly purple and spongy. It's an absorbent fruit used in several cuisines. It's typically used as a vegetable in cooking, but it is a berry by botanical description. It is related to the tomato, chili pepper, and potato. Although those are more of the new world where the eggplant is of the old world. Like the tomato, its skin and its seeds can be eaten. But like the potato, it's usually eaten cooked. Eggplant is nutritionally low in macronutrient and micronutrient content, but the capability of the fruit to absorb oils and flavors into its flesh through cooking expands its use in the culinary arts. It was originally domesticated through the wild nightshade species thorn and bitter apple probably with two independent domestications, one in South Asia and one in East Asia. In 2021, world production of eggplants was 59 million tons, with China and India combined for accounting about 86% of the total. You can learn more about this strange little fruit by looking it up on Wikipedia. That's where I got all that information from. Now, let me tell you about eggplant parmesan in Stardew Valley and what it will do for your farmer. Eggplant parmesan is a cooked dish. It is prepared using either the kitchen inside an upgraded farmhouse or a cookout kit. This recipe is profitable. It will always result in profit when using the lowest quality ingredients. Eggplant parmesan may randomly appear in Krobus' shop on Saturdays or in the Star Drop Saloon's rotating stock. It will give you plus one mining, plus three defense, the buff lasts about five minutes, it'll give you 175 energy and 78 health, and it sells for about 200 gold. You can get the recipe from Mayor Lewis in the mail. To make eggplant parmesan in the game, you will need one eggplant and one tomato. Eggplant parmesan is not used in any bundles, so you don't have to save it for the community center. However, if you want to make it just to feed your farmer, by all means, go right ahead. Eggplant parmesan can be used in the spool of the sewing machine and will make a shirt. It can also be used as a red dye collar in the dye pots at Haley and Emily's house. Eggplant parmesan is also not used in any quests, so you don't have to save it for any specific villager for anything either. Fun fact, despite the description on the eggplant parmesan saying that it tastes cheesy, there is no cheese needed to make this recipe in Stardew Valley, just eggplant and tomato. That's about it for eggplant parmesan in Stardew Valley, so why don't we test it out in real life and see how it tastes. And now for the taste test. I've never cooked with eggplant before, so I truly have no idea what to expect. I'll, I'll bite away from the microphone so it doesn't make any weird noises. As I expected with this much cheese and the fact that it was deep fried, it's pretty damn good. It's hard to screw up something that's deep fried covered in cheese. Pretty much whatever you do at that point is going to taste good. I had some plain earlier because I had two slices left that I had fried that didn't fit into my pan and I just ate them plain. They kind of tasted like deep fried zucchini. They were okay. I think they would have been better if I had something to dip them in. But now that this has the marinara sauce and all the cheese on it, it definitely tastes pretty good. It just tastes like lasagna. Like it tastes like you made chicken parmesan and lasagna but without the chicken. It's really not bad. Eggplant I know doesn't really have a lot of flavor in general. So yeah, you're, you're mostly just gonna taste melted cheese. Melted cheese and deep fried something. This video definitely took a while to make. I probably spent about two hours in the kitchen making this because slicing the eggplant took a while because I had a lot. You do not need as much as I had. Breading it took a while and then you have to make sure not to overcrowd your pan with too many pieces. 
so then I had to only do like four slices at a time and then I had to bake it so all in all it was a little bit more of a dif difficult and time-consuming recipe I don't want to say it's not worth it but unless I have someone coming over that's really big into eggplant I don't foresee myself repeating this recipe in the future um, but I could see myself repeating it with chicken parmesan because I know that that's my sister's one of my sister's favorite foods is chicken parmesan and I made something similar for her once before but yeah I would repeat this but maybe just not eggplant again unless I had someone that really loved eggplant or maybe was vegetarian or something coming over I don't think I'd repeat this whole process again it was a little bit time consuming and most of my cooking takes about 30 minutes so but overall it was still quite delicious if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm getting very close to hitting YouTube Partner. Your views and your interactions help me out a ton to getting there. Be sure to check out my Patreon and keep up with me on all of my social media channels. I'm the Anime Athlete everywhere and come play Stardew Valley with me live on Twitch. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good rest of your night. I'm gonna eat more.